please rise for the bride. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Hannah, and I have had the unique experience of getting to know both Ben and Kelly as individuals before they became the pair you see in front of you. I met Ben during our college internships and Kelly in college as her sorority grandma. I will never forget the day Kelly described her idea of a perfect man and I told her she had just described Ben. It was only a month after that that they started dating and I couldn't be happier for them. Each time I saw one or both of them after that, I could see how much they were impacting each other for the better and really grew with each other in their relationship. It is my absolute pleasure to have the best job in the world today as I get to officiate the marriage of my best friends. Ben and Kelly, please take a moment to look at your guests and give them a great big smile. <laughs> Each of you here represents a piece of Kelly and Ben's lives, whether you came into their lives years ago or more recently. Your presence here is a true gift that can be felt in the love and support surrounding them on this momentous occasion. You may now look each other in the eyes. <laughs> ben, do you take Kelly to be your lawfully wedded wife, your lifelong partner and equal, to have and to hold from this day forward, for better or worse, richer or poorer, in sickness and in health, to love and cherish until death do you part? I do. Kelly. Do you take Ben to be your lawfully wedded husband, your lifelong partner and equal, having to hold from this day forward, for better or worse, richer or poorer, in sickness and in health, to love and cherish until death do you part? I do. Great. <laughs> <laughs> the bride and groom have now prepared some vows that they would like to share. Kelly, you can go first. Okay. Ben. If you can recall a few winters back and a few weddings ago, a drunken conversation about math occurred. <laughs> Regardless of the random topic and the embarrassingly bad flirting, I have never felt more comfortable with someone that I barely knew than I did with you that night. Talking with you was so effortless and the conversation flowed so naturally between us. Sure, maybe it was the alcohol or <laughs> the excitement of a cute guy taking an interest in me. But when we went on our first date a few weeks later, that feeling of ease that came with being around you hadn't faded. If anything, it became even stronger every time we were together. Our love story didn't start with love at first sight exactly. It was more of a familiarity, something along the lines of, there you are, I've been looking for you. How lucky am I that I have found you? And even luckier that you are the most wonderful person I've ever known. You are the kindest soul someone who wants everyone to feel included. You care deeply about those around you so much so that you go out of your way to bring a smile or a laugh to those who need it. You are someone that your friends and family can rely on to lend a helping hand, someone they can turn to for guidance and support. You are courageous enough to work towards becoming a better version of yourself every day. I am endlessly proud of all that you do and the man that you are. I love you with all my heart. I promise to continue to love you forever to choose you always. I promise to encourage and support you, to hold you accountable. I promise to stand by you through all of life's challenges and all of its joys. And when death inevitably takes my hand, I will hold you with the other and promise to find you in every lifetime. Thank you for being my forever, Benjamin. What a beautiful adventure we have ahead of us. I love you. Ben, it's your turn. <laughs> I'm good. Oh. 
I remember the day that uh, the lockdown in Illinois was first announced. I was driving through Decatur to come pick you up, and it was supposed to just be for a weekend. As I was driving through Decatur, uh, I heard that it was actually officially announced, and a million different what-ifs were going through my mind. Uh, now, I know I shouldn't have been worried. During that week that we were together, that was the initial lockdown, it felt like it was all just natural. It felt like it was meant to be. And just, it was during that that I just kind of got to fall in love with what is now one of my favorite things about you, and that's your smile. Whenever you smile, the day gets brighter, and life just gets easier. And all because I know that I have you in my life and you are the sun that is in my life. Uh, whenever you walk into the room, the song Here Comes the Sun by the Beatles is playing in my mind and I know it's all right. Kelly, I promise to always strive to be a better partner for you, to try to be better than the day before to always be there for you and to pick you up as you have done for me so, so many times and to find you in this lifetime and every other one after. And I know uh, we will definitely continue to face challenges as we already have been, but as long as I have you by my side, I know we can overcome it. There's, there is nothing that we can't do together. And at the end of the day, as long as I'm with you, the sun will keep on shining. With each new day, I know we'll create new memories and experiences. And while they might not all be fun and the best, it's going to be great with you. And I cannot wait to see what our next, next adventure is. I love you. The beautiful thing about your vows is that you get to symbolize them through the wearing of your wedding rings. May we have the rings, please. The rings you are about to exchange are a unified symbol of commitment and love. They are made of solid, sturdy metal to withstand the test of time. These rings are a physical reminder of your own individual promises, as well as your vow to stand together. Ben, place this ring on Kelly's finger and repeat after me. Kelly, take this ring as a symbol of my love. Kelly, take this ring as a symbol of my love. My faithfulness to you. My faithfulness to you. And a reminder that you. And a reminder that you. Are my best friend and the love of my life. Are my best friend and the love of my life. Kelly, place this ring on Ben's finger and repeat after me. Ben, take this ring as a symbol of my love. Ben, take this ring as a symbol of my love. My faithfulness to you. My faithfulness to you. And a reminder that you. And a reminder that you are my best friend and the love of my life. Are my best friend and the love of my life. In addition to this exchange of rings, the bride and groom wish to be hand-fasted. The hand-fasting ceremony has its roots in ancient Celtic tradition and dates as far back as 7,000 BC. In ancient Ireland, when two people choose to be married, they were brought together to have a braided cord or ribbon tied around their hands in the presence of a priest. Please join your left hands. These are the hands of your best friend, young and strong, holding yours on your wedding day. These are the hands that will work alongside yours as together you build your futures and realize your dreams. These are the hands that will hold you when fear or grief fills your mind. These are the hands that will wipe tears from your eyes. These are the hands that will help you to hold your family as one. These are the hands that will give you strength when you need it. And lastly, these are the hands that even when aged will always be reaching for yours, today, tomorrow, and forever. Kelly and Ben, as your hands are bound together now, so your lives and spirits are joined in a union of love and trust. Above you are the stars and below you is the earth. Like the stars, your love should be a constant source of light 
and like the earth, a firm foundation from which to grow. You may now step back and tie the knot. <laughs> Yay. By the power bestowed on me, I now pronounce you hand-fasted, but more importantly, husband and wife, you may now kiss. Ladies and gentlemen, it is a true honor to present for the first time, Mr. and Mrs. Schutte. swirling around your head and it is my pleasure to introduce the newlyweds Mr. and Mrs. Ben Shooting. Kelly bring your husband right here give him a spin show him off Right here. Give her a spin, show her off. And one more time, I want you both to bring each other right here. And a kiss for celebration.
And Ben Shooty, everybody. All right, everyone. Hang on a sec. I, I, his contact has been uh, <laughs> it's been acting up all all evening. I got I really have to. I really have to tell you. I, I got. I got to go. <laughs> back back to the uh, back to Costco. We uh, were very happy that you all uh, could uh, come today and really uh, share this evening with us. Very special. I did write this down because I know I'm going to mess it up. But let me get my uh, cheaters out here. Go <laughs> Trying, man. Trying. <clears throat> Good evening, everyone. I'm Chuck, father of the groom. This is my wife, Beth. <laughs> Mother of the groom. We are honored to welcome you all to this special day, the wedding of our son, Ben, and his lovely bride, Kelly. Today marks a new beginning for both of them, and we are thrilled to be here to celebrate this joyous occasion with all of you. <clears throat> We've watched our son Ben grow into a wonderful man, and we are very proud of the person he has become. Chuck is to tell a funny story here, <laughs> but it has to be wedding appropriate. Damn. Okay, let me uh, let me see what I can do here. I have I have some notes. I a, f a few notes. How how about how about this one? No. No. <laughs> mm, no. Curiosity. Excellent. Good Curiosity. choice. Okay. <clears throat> ben was always a curious child. I remember one time when he was, I don't think you were five years old, Ben, maybe six, driving up 294. I was driving. <laughs> and we past one of the uh, tall salt domes that Chicago is famous for, for the winters that we do have up here. Ben looks at me and he said, well, he's in the back, and he says, he goes, Daddy, what is that? I said, that's a salt dome. A couple moments of contemplation, I could see it whirling in his brain. Where do they keep the pepper? At Costco, man, like, I don't know. <laughs> Where do they keep the pepper? Good question. 
On well-set tables everywhere, each enhancing food in their own way, salt and pepper go together, and together they enhance each other's impact. Ben and Kelly met, and Hannah didn't say this, but at her bachelorette party, and then again at her and Connor's wedding. And shortly after that, started dating. And shortly after that, COVID lockdowns came. Their relationship survived all the stresses of that time period with a strong understanding of each other, belief and acceptance of each other, and most importantly, love for each other. We are grateful to her for bringing so much happiness and laughter into his life. Ben and Kelly are the metaphorical salt and pepper, each wonderful and beautiful people on their own, and together they enhance each other. We would like to take this opportunity to thank everyone who has traveled near and far to be here today. Your presence along with those who are here in spirit means a lot to us and we appreciate your love and support. You told me I couldn't bring my drink up. Finally, we would like to raise a toast to the newlyweds. May your love continue to grow stronger with each passing day. And may you always find laughter and happiness in each other's company. Cheers. Cheers. Gracious God, we gather in this place in the spirit of celebration and gratitude. Thank you for the blessing of bringing Ben and Kelly together in marriage today. We ask you to bless their marriage, their family, and all their relationships. Help them stay strong in any adversity and treasure and protect the joy of marriage. May we, as a family and friends, commit to upholding and encourage them to the best of our ability. Please bless this food as we're about to receive and those who prepared it. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. <laughs> Tough act to follow, Chuck and Beth. I'm gonna to speak to Ben and Kelly. Ben and Kelly, congratulations. You found each other. Your wedding is the start of a long adventure. As that journey unfolds full of ups, downs, joys, and trying times, live true to yourselves and each other. Don't let the noise of expectations of the outside world distract you. Take chances, do things your own way, but stand together in your decisions. Remember how and why you chose each other. Let your love for each other guide you, and remember your friends and families support you both. Best wishes to the new Mr. and Mrs. Schutte. All right, which one of you guys picked the intro? All right, oh, oh. I'll take that one. All right, good evening, y'all. It might surprise y'all, I am Ben's older brother. I don't know when it ha happened, but he went from little to much, much taller than I am. <laughs> now, what were you eating that I wasn't? <laughs> Apparently. So, growing up with Ben, I have many, many stories to tell. However, the one I'm gonna tell you today is the time I got Ben drunk for the very, very first time. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna set the stage. For anyone that doesn't know, Ben went to the University of Illinois at Springfield. It's a little school out in the middle of the cornfields. Oh, Springfield. I was freshly 21. Ben was a sophomore in college. For anyone doing the math, don't worry about it. 
to also set the stage, Ben's roommate at the time, who was his roommate for all four years, was Riley, was also there as well. So in my greatest idea, we decided to play some drinking games. The idea what here was, we're playing FIFA. Anyone doesn't know it's a soccer game, soccer. Get it, they played soccer, we played soccer. <laughs> ah. The loser had to stay and had to take a shot. Now I'm gonna say this, the preference. Ben was kicking our butt. And I mean this in the straightest sense of the term. Me and Riley were like, this kind of sucks. Ben, however, made one crucial mistake and lost the game. It was the beginning of the end. It was like watching Ben take the first shot and he went, what just died? Someone help me. I don't like this. <laughs> After that, the losing streak continued and continued and continued. <laughs> I don't believe he likes blue Gatorade to this day anymore because of it. <laughs> I can confidently say that he was not happy when we went to breakfast the next day. I think he looked at food and went, no thank you. <laughs> so despite all this, Ben has always been there for me as his older brother. I can tell you right now that he is probably the most kind, compassionate, and hardworking person I've ever known. And I can't say I haven't been more proud to call him as my younger brother. <laughs> I met Kelly for the first time on Easter of 2020. I'm going to throw Ben under the bus on this one because he did a major disservice to Kelly. Me and my family were on a walk. We come back. Ben's pulling up. And the first thing he does, he just starts talking to us. And there's Kelly in the car. No introduction, no nothing. We're just sitting there talking to him. And at some point, she turns her, he eventually finally introduces her and says, oh, by the way, this is Kelly. All I'm saying is she was very much a trooper for dealing with us at that day. There over these, your dinner, I can tell you, I learned a lot about her, such as they went on their first date the day after Valentine's Day. That was a bold move coffin. But getting to know her, I can tell you right now, she is probably one of the most incredible people I've ever gotten to meet. She is an incredibly kind, thoughtful, and brave person. And I can tell you right now, I can't imagine anyone else that Ben would be with. Together, both of them are able to tackle any challenge that comes their way. From March's shenanigans, such as barking at four in the morning for the last three days, <laughs> to more serious debates, such as, where should we go to dinner? They both complement each other in their strengths, and they are there to cover for each other's weaknesses. I wish them for many years of happiness and good fortune to come. And now I want you all to raise your glasses with, I don't have a glass, but raise your glasses please, and give them a toast. So cheers. cheers. Mr. John Shooty, everybody. My name is Gabby Catlin, and I am the maid of honor and have the honor of serving as this one's big in our sorority, Pi Beta Phi. Some people maybe know our origin story, some people maybe don't, so I'm going to share it. So Kelly and I went to Milliken University together, and my sophomore year, my roommate comes to me and says, you have to come meet someone, she's just like you. It's gonna be perfect. And so I hesitantly walk over to Blackburn and I walk in and I meet Kelly and we do the pleasantries and I happen to be wearing a shirt that says fries before guys. She sees my shirt and her exact words are, fries before guys, <laughs> me too. <laughs> 
From that moment on, I knew that we were going to be in each other's lives for a long time. I was desperate to have her join my sorority, and in the back of my head, I thought, she's gonna be my little. It has to happen, it has to happen. So we maybe broke a couple rules and brought her over to the house when we weren't supposed to. We maybe made some bid promising. We maybe did some things we weren't supposed to, but in the end, she became my little. And it was a match made in heaven, in pi fi heaven. But it was really meant to be. Our similarities were uncanny. We we talk in a variety of accents. If if anyone knows us well, you know that we talk in a variety of accents. Usually Miranda sings. <laughs> We have a love for musical theater, specifically Phantom of the Opera. And the strangest thing was that my dad was born in her hometown. So it was just meant to be. We have so many wonderful memories together between Thanksgivings and spring breaks. Um, we broke into the Pi Fi house and went on the roof and sang silly songs. We did all kinds of fun things. But some of my favorite memories with Kelly are when Ben starts to come into the picture because I see her become more and more herself and feel comfortable. And so we were actually headed to the officiant's wedding, my big, Hannah Hacksmith. We were headed to her wedding when all of a sudden Kelly starts to mention Ben and I was familiar with Ben, knew a little bit about him, knew that he was funny, knew that he was kind, knew that he drove a really fast car <laughs> and knew that he worked at State Farm but that was about the extent of my knowledge. We go to Hannah's wedding. Ben brings us over to do shots as one does. So we do a couple shots, we have some fun, we go dance. The next thing I know, Kelly's nowhere to be found. And I was like, what in the world? What? We'll keep it PG, it's PG. <laughs> no, they spend the whole night together. They are talking, they're having a great time. They leave the venue, they come back. I think they went to a restaurant, doing all kinds of fun things. And then on the way back, as I was dropping her off at Milliken, she was the happiest I've ever seen her the happiest I've ever seen her. And as COVID hit and they started to spend more time together, the more I started to know Ben through Kelly and the more that I saw how much of the good he compliments in her and how much of the good he brings out at her. Um, nobody is deserving of my little, but Ben comes really damn close. <laughs> <laughs> Ben is ferociously loyal and unbelievably kind. He is so generous and he compliments her in every way. I could not have picked out somebody better for you. <laughs> ben, thank you for loving her so well and for increasing her shine and not dimming it and for continuing to keep her on the pedestal that she deserves to be on. Now, I must say, when Kelly asked me to be her maid of honor, I was a little nervous because I knew I was going to have to give a speech. And so, of course, you, you do what anyone else does, right? You go to Google and you say, okay, Google, how do you write a speech, a maid of honor speech? And one of the things they told me to do was, was uh, you have to give marriage advice. Duh. And so I said, great, me as a single 26-year-old with a plethora of marriage experience <laughs> shall now impart some advice upon you. So here it goes. Love each other, always, as simple as that. With the caveat of you should probably love Archie more because <laughs> do we blame them? Archie's their dog for anyone who doesn't know, so. <laughs> Find each other in each other, but don't lose yourself. Find your individualness in your coupleness. And the last thing I'll say is it's really hard to be mad at each other when you're dancing or telling fart jokes. So don't <laughs> lose that either. Kelly and I studied theater together in undergrad and had a variety of performance times and things we would do. So I thought, what better way to end this than with a song? Hit it, DJ. I'm just kidding, I'm not gonna sing a song. This is your wedding, what are you kidding? No, we're not doing a song. <laughs> All right, raise your glass to Kelly and Ben. I love you both. I'm so blessed and honored to be a part of your special day. Thank you for having us. Thank you for having love. We love you. Cheers. Little girl, just take a bite. Let me shake up your world. Jabby Catlin, everybody.
It's been a wonderful evening already, and uh, I won't hold you all too long. We just have a couple more quick dances to do and just this little speech. We just want to say thank you all for coming, especially all of our friends from Boston, Massachusetts, everybody who's had to travel a little bit to be here with us today. We appreciate it. We want to give a, a, another special thanks to our vendors, uh, Jimmy and Walt, Katie and Amy, and our photographers and videographer, I'm losing them. Sherry and Matt, wherever you are, thank you as well. Um, I'm sure you all, uh, as you heard from my parents and from Kelly's parents, uh, we're, we're very grateful for everything and I know we wouldn't be here without them today and especially our mothers. I know I call my, mo my mom probably every day. <laughs> Multiple times a day. Thank you. And Kelly has done so much to, to get us here today with doing so much legwork on, on finding the venue and, and organizing all of this. So thank you, Kelly, as well. But I think we can on to the next. Absolutely. <laughs> One more time for Mr. Ben Shooty, everybody. I took my love and I took it down. I climbed a mountain and I turned around. And I saw my reflection in the snow covered hill. The landslide brought me down Oh, mirror in the sky, what is love? Can the child within my heart rise above? Can I sail through the changing ocean tides? Can I handle the seasons? Daughter Kelly, everybody.
they can't explain. I know we're different, but deep inside us, we're not that different at all. Can you be in my heart? Yes, you be in my heart. From this day on, now and forever. Beth and Ben, everybody. She might be the bomb, but ain't nobody got a mom like mine. Her love's to the end. She's my best friend. Ain't nobody got a mom like mine. She might. Everybody!